Yeah, hello, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, talk here today about uh, the uh, uh, the DH Digital Humanities uh, Initiatives and Strategy uh, of the uh, Göttingen Academy of Sciences. Uh, actually, my task is uh, is uh, a little bit easier because uh, to, now because uh, Gerd Lauer in the in the morning in the keynote talk already presented some of the institutions uh, that are uh, playing a key role uh, at Göttingen, and so uh, maybe I can concentrate on uh, on uh, questions of strategy and particular uh, challenges that uh, we are. Uh, uh, facing uh, in a uh, learned society, an academy that is uh, a spe special body of uh, research, uh, as you all know. So uh, I, I will uh, I have two or three slides to present uh, uh, the academy a little bit, that you know what we are talking about. Uh, Göttingen in the center of Germany, uh, you, you, you are familiar with, but uh, this is actually a new building uh, that was uh, uh, that is now in use for one year in Göttingen and is housing most of the uh, projects uh, of the academy. Uh, um, so the people uh, I'm talking about now are working mostly here, but there are also, of course, other projects uh, abroad. Uh, some uh, more um, uh, in the north, in northern uh, Germany, in, at Kiel or other at, uh, at Hamburg and other, other cities. Uh, there's a, there are two other sites uh, in Göttingen uh, um, uh, for the academy. Uh, uh, the upper one is, uh, is the uh, administration building, and uh, the, uh, the other one uh, on the, on the right-hand side, that's uh, for biblical studies, uh, so several projects uh, uh, doing uh, research on Coptic or uh, the New Testament or Qumran uh, are, uh, are housed in this building. Uh, well, uh, the Göttingen Academy is, uh, is uh, quite an old uh, learned society. It's uh, founded in 1751 and uh, has always, uh, from, from, from the very beginning, very strong connections to the university at Göttingen. Uh, today, uh, it's got uh, around 350 ordinary and corresponding members in two classes. One is the humanities and social sciences classes, and the other one is the mathematics, natural sciences classes. But um, uh, the, the, the academy is working mostly in the fields of basic research in the humanities today. So there is some concentration um, uh, within these ac academies uh, uh, on, on, on research in the humanities. Uh, we have altogether eight uh, uh, um, uh, uh, academies in Germany, and plus the Leopoldina, which is uh, uh, devoted to the natural sciences, but the other, the other ones are uh, uh, in a big program that is uh, 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 financed by uh, the government and the different lender, the different regions in, in German, and uh, uh, these uh, academies are uh, doing research in the humanities mostly. So there is, of course, also in the other class, there is, uh, there is uh, research going on, but the funding goes, goes mostly to that direction. Uh, so you can you can see there are many many uh, famous people uh, uh, members uh, of the academy. I I can skip that. Um, that's. Um, uh, that's the society that is getting important when you retire from your professorship. So when uh, uh, you, of course, you are elected already uh, earlier in your career, but uh, it gets more and more important when you are retiring. In I just heard it's uh, there's a retirement scheme in Ireland with 55, uh, which is uh, uh, <laughs> which which is uh, uh, different in Germany. Uh, there we have um, a scheme with uh, 65 and onwards. Uh, so that's uh, uh, that's the time when uh, when uh, the academy gets interesting because then you can, after your active uh, academic uh, career, you can uh, uh, start to lead a research group there or engage in research uh, in, a, in a research commission. 
So this is one side of the academy, the, the, the elected members, but there's also another side, that is uh, the, the people working in research projects, and we have all together 26 projects uh, uh, at Göttingen now. Uh, some, some projects run out, others, another, others come, uh, uh, are newly uh, funded, so, but that's, uh, that's around 25, uh, that's the number we were having, and uh, all together it's uh, uh, around 230 people uh, working in these projects, um, uh, staff uh, mostly, but also students working in the projects. So that's uh, the people um, I have, I'm mostly dealing with in, uh, as a coordinator for digital uh, humanities at the uh, academy. Um, so from from that picture, I just uh, <laughs> reduce a little bit to to those. Uh, so these are mostly humanities uh, 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 um, uh, people coming from the humanities uh, working in the project. But then we have uh, just a few uh, of them uh, who are uh, uh, doing uh, uh, computer science or are familiar with computer science, informatics, and um, some of them can be also uh, labeled as IT geeks. Um, uh, half of those people coming from the humanities, um, but also some of them from the, uh, directly from the informatics or computer science department. So, and then uh, uh, above this, there is uh, just a few uh, of us who are trying to do this uh, core task of digital humanities means translating. So, of course, these, uh, those people are uh, coming from the humanities or, or also do this kind of translation within their research groups and within their projects. But um, when we are we're trying to uh, set up a new project or uh, um, uh, talking about digitization strategy of a, of a project, then uh, we are coming uh, on, on it's just a very few, a very a small group of people who are uh, who are then uh, try to translate between the, the researchers from the dis different disciplines uh, and to uh, to the um, uh, um, partners in computer science to the uh, computer center people uh, who are then um, maybe setting up a database or uh, um, uh, helping with a digital edition. And that's it's all coordinated by our uh, uh, Secretary General, uh, Angelika Schade, who is actually uh, engaging in this uh, digitization process uh, from the very beginning when she was coming to the academy 10 years, 12 years ago, and she started really uh, 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 to push these projects, which are traditionally... Uh, yeah, more into the uh, into the uh, analog uh, printing and uh, publication scheme into the digital world. So I already already explained uh, 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 a few of the challenges that we have. The challenges is one is in the numbers. It's just so few people in our uh, 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 group in, in our in our staff uh, are uh, capable of um, of uh, working uh, uh, actively as digital humanists or doing projects uh, in that uh, uh, perspective. Although it is uh, now uh, required for every project to have a digital rep representation on the net uh, uh, to publish, uh, um, for example, for the, for the dictionaries to have a, dic a, 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 a public available uh, online dictionary uh, of, the, of what they, they're working on and so on. So that's, uh, uh, that's now uh, anchored in the, in the applications already when, you're, when you want to start a new project, you have to think about, of course, the digital representation of the materials that you're going to publish. Yeah, then the, uh, there's a particular problem with, uh, with this uh, uh, grant applications or the, the application of money that is coming from uh, the government and from the different regions um, uh, because you have to plan it in advance for 25 years. And uh, it's long-term long -term, uh, projects uh, like setting up a, a, um, a dictionary that takes some time. And then you have to plan as, uh, as well for the uh, digi digital version in 
in ahead, in 20 years ahead, which is practically not possible today. We know that. Uh, and that is a, a particular challenge here with this long-term project that we are, have to um, find strategies to handle with. Uh, so what, what standards to, to build on and what, how to, uh, to make it sustainable uh, so that maybe in 10 years we can again uh, shift it a little bit and uh, put it in, the, in a direction that is still uh, possible to read. And uh, of course, there's also a problem with the with the traditions of authors and publishers, uh, especially in the these sm small humanities disciplines that are typical for academies. So how to uh, uh, convince them about open access and open science? Uh, uh, that's uh, that's a particular challenge also for this group. And we've talked about the uh, people uh, over f over 50 today. Uh, actually, uh, uh, the the, the the uh, academy members are over uh, 70, 80, <laughs> most of them. <laughs> so uh, to get them um, uh, involved into uh, information uh, uh, ICT technology, that's um, sometimes uh, not so easy. But sometimes they are really open to it also. So it's not, not a generalization. You cannot say it's all, every, everybody over 50 is not, not able or willing to, uh, to, uh, to think in these uh, directions. No, that's not the case. It really depends on, uh, on the case. Um, yes, uh, and that, that is one, one of the challenges is really to that is general to, to DH uh, to speak the other's language. So that is uh, one of the main tasks that I'm uh, with my colleagues uh, uh, in the coordination uh, are uh, pursuing. So we are, we are trying to translate uh, from one language into another, um, finding the, uh, a common language, a com common vocabulary, as has been pointed out, uh, out already today. That is a very important step. Um, we are we are also quest asking us about what is what's happening to the projects after uh, the the funding period. Uh, the funding period is can be quite long, but at some point it will end. And uh, what are we going to do with the resources? That's a, a major problem, not only for the academy projects, but uh, especially for those projects which are, have this long-term funding. Um, and uh, yes, uh, then uh, that's another question is how to organize or what is the strategy uh, for, uh, for uh, running these uh, projects, uh, typically from two to some, some have just two or three members, but other projects may have 10 or, or 12. So, so how, to, uh, how to organize yourself? Uh, do you want to build a, a task force group uh, to, uh, to help with particular projects at a particular time? Or is it better to have an, in every project somebody who is responsible and capable? Now, our experience is that it is better, better to have for the whole project uh, duration somebody within the project who is uh, um, speaking the language, who has the technical skills to, uh, to help. But sometimes one person is, of course, not enough to to have a whole uh, infrastructure uh, that is that is uh, expected today. So strategies uh, uh, that we are following, uh, the most important strategy is that of cooperation, of course, and uh, that here come here comes uh, uh, here come the other uh, players and partners at Göttingen uh, um, in. Uh, um, our uh, uh, most important partner is maybe the the uh, SUB, the, the library, uh, as that has been already uh, presented today by by Gerhard earlier, and uh, of course the Computer uh, Science Center. Uh, uh, the GVDG, uh, but uh, on, uh, also we have uh, um, uh, a partnership with the uh, Göttingen Center for Digital Humanities that is still developing, but that uh, um, started also with the with the center when it was uh, set up formally as an institution in 2011, 2012. Uh, then uh, already uh, one person was uh, that was me actually uh, was also integrated into that center, and so uh, 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 I was uh, we, um, we were working together from that time onwards. Uh, we. The, the, maybe the most important strategy is, uh, uh, beside cooperation, is uh, that we are trying to reuse software, that we're trying to, to, to uh, use our resources in a way that we don't have to reinvent everything every time for every project. So, uh, um, 
So we, with, uh, together with the, uh, with the library, uh, there is a website uh, available that lists all the projects and gives the basic information and uh, uh, serves as a hub for, for, for the members, but also for, for the different projects to uh, uh, what they are doing and what, what kind of material they are presenting online. Uh, very close to that is, uh, is the repository, that is the DSpace repository that was set up uh, five years ago, uh, which allows uh, members of the academy, but also everybody to pub, uh, who is connected to that uh, academy, uh, publish uh, papers and uh, research results um, in an open access way. Uh, another uh, project we are doing together with the, with the library is uh, a platform for, for dictionaries. Uh, that is one example that's just uh, under the way of getting uh, online, uh, will be probably online in January or February the next year. And uh, so this is also uh, uh, within this uh, let's say, corporate identity of the, uh, the academy, um, but also reusing a technology. <laughs> Here is a, it's a solar uh, index that is behind uh, uh, the, um, uh, this, this uh, dictionary, uh, this XML uh, dictionary, so that you can retrieve uh, quickly uh, 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 lemmata and everything you want to know about a word um, in different, uh, 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 in the different uh, uh, levels of uh, uh, German language, so historical uh, German language, for example. Uh, we have also software from from other uh, uh, institutions and uh, that has been developed in other universities. This one is uh, was developed originally in Münster, um, uh, and it's about a new t New Testament reading room and tr a transcription room, and this. Uh, uh, then uh, was uh, uh, transferred. Uh, some some of the people now work in, in, in Göttingen, and they work together, and they they promote also this software to our, for other projects. We can reuse it and can uh, in this way uh, profit of the of the uh, uh, the knowledge that is already there for uh, how to set it set it up and to use it uh, for um, these kind of studies. Uh, finally, I just uh, want to. Uh, 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 I speak about uh, uh, the Blumenbach project that was already mentioned today with uh, the, the, the actual architecture that is uh, uh, prepared now for publishing also next year uh, that is building on the IIIF uh, uh, or IIIF uh, viewers and uh, a Fedora uh, repository uh, and uh, a dynamic uh, b uh, um, uh, construction of the manifests for the, for the viewer and also uh, which, which allows for linked open data in a, in a way that there is a, there's a, a triple store and a Sparkle endpoint connected to the repository that it makes, uh, make, makes it really easy to, to get the data uh, um, out for and linking it to other, other data in the cultural heritage domain. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, we call this project Pandora, and we are doing uh, workshops uh, on the next uh, DHD conference and uh, did already some presentations on this. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, we are, uh, yeah, we hope that this also is, ki is a kind of software that will, uh, can be reused by other projects uh, in the academy, but also uh, elsewhere. We already have seen this too today as well. The, the Humanities Data Center, that is also one of the strategies of the Academy to, uh, for, for long-term uh, availability and sustainability of the, of the DH projects. We, uh, we, we think that we need some institution that is caring for, uh, uh, for the, uh, for the uh, research data that's, that is produced by uh, by our projects uh, my, my, that can be databases or digital editions. So it's not just text or or, or pictures. It's more. It's also it's all environments that are running and uh, and and uh, research tools that are in use in sometimes in small communities, but also in bigger communities. So that's something. Uh, we absolutely need, and we are uh, very uh, we're looking forward uh, to this uh, 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 data center, which is supported by the or was founded by the SUB and the uh, the, the computer center. Uh, but we are also part of this uh, um, in the design phase, so we are uh, we, sh we were interested in this from the very beginning, uh, from the academy point of view. Uh, so. 
I already mentioned it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, in our uh, perspective it's very important to uh, uh, to develop more and more into this uh, direction of open access and open science. We see within the project and in the humanities uh, world of uh, humanities scholarship, there is still uh, a huge amount of individualism and working not together, working individually. Um, on your own project and uh, not to share uh, information. I, we think that uh, it's a long process, but we have to stimulate this to overcome it, uh, that, that, that people also in the humanities, researchers in the humanities, get more uh, uh, in, this, in this direction of open science. And we want to uh, um, promote this actively in, in, the, in, in the academy. Uh, one way is uh, by by training. So I think about uh, 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 there, there's now initiatives from the library again uh, on open science. Just uh, a few days ago, we had a meeting on that, um, and uh, this will continue. But we also, uh, of course. Uh, 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 think of uh, we, we are trying to um, give training on uh, to to the colleagues on uh, uh, digital humanities topics like uh, uh, how to deal with the uh, hybrid editions that are very common in our project. So we have a digital edition online, but we also have a print edition. So how to get from the TI to a print edition in a in, a, in an easy way uh, and things like that. Uh, we are we are we are uh, giving. Uh, 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 help or trying to to give courses on on, on that and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have any question, for the presenter? Yeah. Martin. Yes, thank you for the, the presentation. I, I just had a, a comment about uh, this question of age, because you, you said this question, uh, how do we do to reach the older uh, colleagues and so on, and, and it came, a, came up uh, several times uh, during these two days. Uh, and in my experience, uh, I don't know if it's really the... Um, the issue, um, because uh, I'm, I'm, we do a lot of teachers training uh, in our university, and in fact, I, I don't see that the older colleagues are uh, always the um, uh, the ones that are most difficult to to reach and to. Um, I don't know. Um, you know the, this uh, paper from uh, Mark Prensky, the digital natives and digital immigrants. Uh, it was written 16 years ago. Uh, and I, I don't think it was really efficient at that time, and even less today. Uh, and even more than that, I would say that uh, when you have uh, older uh, colleagues, professors, uh, maybe they are more able to say when they don't understand something, when they are lost, when they fail to use the technology, uh, they can say it. Uh, it's different with younger colleagues because they can be more ashamed to say that they uh, aren't able to use the technology, and you know. Yeah, so, I understand what what you want to say, and I I, th I think I also also already pointed out that uh, I think it's it's it depending on the case. So there are yeah. there are uh, people really really open to this, and uh, quite old people are very open to this, and to uh, to all this, even coming in their in their higher ages, like like 60s and 70s, coming to digital humanities and getting interested in it. But I can tell you a little story. Uh, just a few weeks ago, um, uh, or two weeks ago, maybe there was a major attack. Uh, uh, cyber attack on German routers uh, um, uh, of telecom, of the, of the big telecom company. And uh, uh, one of these older colleagues in, this, in his 80s, he is uh, working on my floor, and he was, uh, I was uh, encountering him on the, on the stairs, and uh, he was saying, you know what happened? I just wanted to go to, the library, to, to a bookstore and order a book and then it, they told me there was a there was a cyber attack, uh, and it was not possible to to order uh, the book for me. Maybe it's time now that I die soon. <laughs> that that was I would say 
excuse me, is that not a reason to die? <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> but it was really like, I, we have to deal with those people. We are now saying, well, what a world, so which are coming from another age, and they don't want to really... Uh, getting into it. They are just refusing uh, to, uh, to, uh, to realize uh, uh, the, 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 the digital world, uh, uh, which is for them scary. And uh, even this guy, really, he's, he was uh, thinking about, well, maybe it's not my time anymore, <laughs> but, which is not a reason. So there's other examples of people really uh, very open to it and, and staying open to it uh, until the very last day. So that's... I, I agree to you, basically. It's not, not, not only a question of age, but it can be, I think in, in elderly people, it's, it's sometimes more difficult to, to have just, just this basic understanding and this basic uh, openness uh, to it. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much, once again. Yeah, yeah, applause in place, yeah, of course. <laughs>